Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share some tips and advice within their industry. And today I have Ben Quinn and Ben, welcome to the show. Thanks Jeff for having me. Yep, sure. Mm -hmm. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do. Great. Uh, my name is Ben Quinn. I'm a small business advisor with Farm Blue. And what I basically do is I help people start and grow successful companies. And the three big outcomes that I help people with are time, team, and money. And what that means with time is reducing the number of hours you have to work in your business. Uh, team is around hiring, retaining, and motivating the absolute best employees. And money is increasing the owner's compensation or increasing the profitability of your business. All right, Ben, so there seems to be a lot of myths out there uh, within your industry. Can you help dispel some of them? Uh, sure, there's, there's two, two main myths that I see. One is that um, business advisors are for failing companies. And uh, this actually the opposite is true. The majority of people I've worked with over the last seven or eight years um, are good companies. They're doing well, they're profitable, and they're trying to go from good to great. Uh, they often have some type of challenge that they're dealing with, or many times it's an opportunity. They're growing really quickly, and they just need someone to, to provide some, some help, some technical support and accountability. So that's one of the huge myths that, that, that I see. Um, second one is that that it's too expensive or I can't afford to work with the business advisor. Um, I have programs that can work with anyone, um, even someone who has either a small company or even just an idea, all the way up to multi-million dollar companies. Uh, the way these programs are designed, because people hire me to help improve time and money within their business, it's designed to pay for itself over time. We're working on strategies to help generate revenue to not only cover the services, in the investment in the services, but also generate magnitudes more in terms of profitability of the business. Okay. So those are two, two things I see. Okay. Now, and going back to the first myth, um, when you talked about uh, only unsuccessful businesses have coach, I, I, mm -hmm. coaches, I like to use the analogy of, of athletes. I mean, mm -hmm. Tiger Woods, I mean, all the best athletes in the, in the world have a coach where mm -hmm. all the non-professionals don't. Mm -hmm. That's so. absolutely true. And you know, I, I have a coach that keeps me accountable and, and not only is it, you see that in sports, but uh, most successful CEOs of Fortune 100 and Fortune 500 companies have coaches to keep them accountable, to give them support, and uh, to help them be the best that they can be. Okay. Well, we all live in this kind of crazy, hectic world. I know I do when it comes to my personal life and the business life, and maybe some of you do out there as well. Is there a tip that you can give uh, a business owner that can make them not feel so overwhelmed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, business owners are often overwhelmed. They're, over, they're overwhelmed by all the opportunities, and, and that's a good thing, but it can also be paralyzing. Mm -hmm. So what i found is the best way to minimize your stress and the overwhelm is to, to have a very clear vision for what you want to accomplish in your business. I always talk about what's your finished business look like. For some people that means they're going to be generating a specific amount of money, $200,000 a year to be able to put their kids through college. For some people their finished business means they want to sell it at, you know, four years or five years from now for a specific amount of money. For some people, it's, it's about impact. You know, for a nonprofit or another organization, it could be the number of people they help in a year. But whatever it is, when you're really clear about your vision, it, it tells you what not to do. Most people are overwhelmed by the option. So you can focus on what's, what's important, what will help you get your success, and then you can say no to everything else. And that helps decrease the stress. Okay. Well, good information. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. Sure. Um, can you just uh, end with uh, giving us like your best tip that you can give a business owner? Yeah, the number one tip I'd say that, that makes a difference between good businesses and great businesses is, is the level of accountability you have in your life. When you run your own business, you are the boss. You don't have a board of directors or shareholders. You're really just accountable to yourself. And oftentimes, um, I, I recommend someone do some type of accountability. Uh, it could be a mastermind group, which is just a group of business owners that get together once a week or once a month to, to, to make sure that they accomplish whatever goals they're working on. Um, it could be a one-to-one -one mentor. It just could be someone who's in your industry and you meet weekly just to discuss ideas and you commit to what you're gonna do and follow through. Or it could be hiring an advisor, so someone who's professionally trained to, to help businesses be successful. I'm a certified business coach. Um, I can bring the technical skills and the accountability skills together to help people be successful. But the key is you need someone or something to keep you accountable 
to accomplishing what you want to get in your business every week. Okay. And you mentioned earlier you do have a coach as well, so it's good to see that you practice what you preach. So. Absolutely. Yeah, Definitely. Very good. All right. Well, thank you, Ben. I appreciate your time. And thank uh, for, you. for those of you out there that are interested in learning more about Ben, please feel free to check out the website at the end of this video. And if you'd like to continue this conversation online, feel free to fill in uh, or put any comments below this video. That's all we have for this week. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.